what one company is doing to tackle the range concerns of all electric cars, no more cords to power your electronics, and details about Nissan charging stations. This is your Daily Energy Report. from the Daily Energy Report, and I appreciate you spending the next three minutes with me. I've got some very interesting energy stories to share with you, so let's get started. Leading off, India-based electric motors and vehicles has developed a concept called the PRU that contains an electric generator and batteries to charge electric vehicles on the go. The PRU is a self-propelled trailer that attaches to an electric vehicle to keep it charged for longer trips. Its creators aim to solve the issue of long-range drives without electric charging stations. The trailer has its own motor that would match the car's speed, and it also propels itself while a GPS unit will analyze the route's topography to maximize the battery's efficiency. The company's estimated cost for this PRU is around $15,000, and it's expected to be released by 2011. Researchers at the University of Bolton in England have patented a new piezoelectric photovoltaic fiber that can be interwoven into a number of gadgets to power them using motion and light. Initially, there was only a flexible piezoelectric fiber to gather the motion, and researchers have added a photovoltaic fiber to harness the light. The material can be woven into anything, including laptop and cell phone cases that can then be placed into sunlight to generate energy which means that the time when you won't have to use cords to power your electronics is coming faster than you think. And finally, as electric cars gain in popularity and car companies continue to release new green models, there's been a bigger push for the development of charging stations. Until concepts like the Indian Peru materialize, Nissan is working on its own solutions. The company is going to install over 40 level 2 240 volt charging stations at dealerships that are selling their Nissan LEAF. Chargers will be installed in launch markets in California, Oregon, Washington, Arizona, and Tennessee. Each station will have four docks, two for operational support and two for customer access only. And these stations are going to be very helpful for the almost 20,000 U.S. consumers that have already reserved a Nissan LEAF since it was made available. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and tune in tomorrow to check out the latest Daily Energy Report. Have a great day.